Core system operational. Vandal Swarm initiated. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. Contact. Scan initiated. Hello everybody, Airbrusher here. Welcome back. Uh, this is take two. My um, audio, or my uh, first voice recording voiceover for this is gone somewhere. Um, so we're going to try this again. Uh, I kind of rambled anyway, so this is good. Uh, welcome back to uh, another Star Citizen video. Um, this one's more about... Um, me talking about a few things about Sarsis and anything else. Um, I can't really bring you any new specific gameplay or anything because the uh, multiplayer is not out for everybody yet. Uh, I won't be in it Health for a long strength. time because my citizen number Stern is way up there. Quarter strength. Um, Flare launched. I do play Refreshing other games, uh, but lately I've been sucking in them, and Flare so launched. I haven't got enough video together to you know give you more than two minutes uh, it's just the way it goes for me sometimes so I just want to talk a minute about something I've, I've seen come up a few times um, it's not as bad as it was when it, the flight the, the uh, DFM first came out and that's the way the ships work um, so I'm still seeing it every so often so I'm just going to try to put this simply alert. Your ship is is moved forward. It's gaining inertia by the huge thruster on the back. You change directions by maneuvering thrusters that are placed against the, the body. The maneuvering thrusters need a rigid body to work effective. Uh, something stationary to act as a force against to create the the, the uh, vector change and um, when you're in space and you're going forward uh, you create inertia when you change your direction you feel inertial gravity I think that's what it's called anyways you feel a, a force of gravity so put you in a seat and makes you want to black out um, it takes a second for the maneuvering thrusters to affect your vector so if you turn to the, your stick to any side or you know, just any direction, it'll feel like your ship starts to react instantly, but it's slow. Proximity and then it builds up alert. and it builds up. What's happening is the uh, vector change, the effect Achieve of the thruster lock. is building its force and it's getting up to the maximum force that you've asked of it to make that turn and uh, so it takes a second you gotta think like one step ahead when you're doing this uh, so you kind of get your nose in the right place and in my videos you see me not guess correctly a few times and, and um, I'm going off in another direction than the uh, Vandal ship is going which causes me to have to fly around like crazy to get back in on it and, and re-engage. So just remember that. Just remember that you move the stick, um, the movement is going to ramp up and it's going to it's going to increase the force to which you're asking of the maneuvering thruster, which then will increase the amount of your turn. Uh, faster and faster so just remember that and uh, it's been it's been fun um, I'm gonna be interested to see the next iteration of this um, I look forward to the other ships being put in it such as the uh, freelancer and the cutlass uh, hopefully all this stuff will be in the uh, multiplayer too. Well, anyways, that's it for me for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please come back. I enjoyed doing this for you. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.